That's Chigozi. He's the host of Jitney 242, where he gives away money every week. Now you can win cash and prizes by going to Jitney 242 on Facebook. Like the page and get ready to play. Chikozy and Jitney 242, where serious funny meets serious money. Most of the world's penguin population can be found in, is it A, Alaska, B, Australia, C, Iceland, or D, Antarctica? Um, I would say Antarctica. You would say Antarctica? Yes, sir. You would say Antarctica, but what are you going to say? Article. Oh, you're going to say an article yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. And you are absolutely right, my friend. Another $20 to the pot. <laughs> wow, you are making some cha-ching. Huh? Okay. All right, man. So, a lucky day. <laughs> it's a lucky day. This former Kingsway Academy student mm -hmm. has had a recording role on the hit BET TV show, The Game, playing himself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Will it be A, Rick Fox? A, Rick Fox. You sure it's Shakir? No, it's Rick Fox. Shaka Rose on Cat or no, 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 I, I know it's Rick Fox. You know it's Rick Fox. Yeah, I know that. You know that? Yeah. Well, say it like you mean it. It's Rick Fox. Look right in that camera right there and say Rick Fox. Rick Fox. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, you're absolutely right, my friend. Wow. You've now made it to the bonus round where each quest is now worth $40. Your pot has become very sizable. You have one strike against you. Still have two lifelines left. All right. Here's the question. On the island of New Providence, Government House sits on what is officially known as, would it be A, Government Hill, B, Mount Rushmore, C, Mount Fitzwilliam, or D, Mount Rogers? A. A. A, Government Hill. Yeah. Now, you do realize you have some lifelines if you're not sure. So I saw your little eyebrow twitching, so I saw the little bit of uncertainty. But is that your final answer? Government Hill. Government is your final answer. Yeah. Government Hill. Government House has to sit on top of Government Hill. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It only makes sense. It only makes sense, man. <laughs> and you, my brother, give me, that's what I'm talking about. You are wrong so confidently. <laughs> All right. The correct <laughs> answer, answer was <laughs> B, Mount Fitzwilliam. What? All right. That's not bad. That's two strikes against you. One right. more strike, bro, and I got to kick you off my bus. But I get my money still. Do, do, but say it again. But do I get my money? But do I get my money? But do I get what? <laughs> not today. You ready for the next question? Remember now, you got two lifelines if you're not sure, okay? Alright. The first Bahamian Olympic track and field medalist. Was it A, Pauline Davis Thompson? B, Frank Rutherford? C, Debbie Ferguson? Or D, Chris Brown? Lifeline. Lifeline, yeah. you are a smart man. Yeah. Yeah. Which one are you using? The 50 50 or the phone of friend? The 50 50. When you're the 50 50, okay. I'm going to take away two of the wrong answers here. And I'm going to take away A and C. Would it be Frank Rutherford or D, Chris Brown? Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. I mean like the final, final answer. Because if you get this wrong, that'd be your final answer. Final answer. That's your final answer. Final, final answer. That's good, bro. Go up forward hard. Go out strong. And you are absolutely right. $40 oh. added to the pot. <laughs> you are still in it to win it. Jitney242 is rocking right now. All right. The first Bahamian team of female athletes to represent the Bahamas in international competition competed in the year, would it be A, 1962, B, 1972, C, 1973, or D, 1975? The first Bahamian team of female athletes to represent the Bahamas in international competition. What year did they compete in? Was it 1962, 1972, 1973, or 1975? got 25 seconds. 
1975. Now let me tell you what's at stake here. Dude. You got a big pot, you got two strikes against you, and you got one lifeline. How, how much the pot is again? Plenty money. I need to know. I need to know. You need to know. I need to know how much. Over one hundred and twenty dollars. Make the lifeline, please. Make that lifeline. You want to make that lifeline call? Yeah. All right. He's gonna make that lifeline call. That is a wise man. On Jitney two four two, we want to see winners win. All right. All right. How much further can he go? Join us after these messages from our sponsors to see how many more questions he can answer.